The Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct was packed to the brim with all sorts of new information regarding the 2.0 update. If you looked really closely, you would have spotted tons of new furniture items. Let's take a closer look at everything that you missed. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with some exciting new furniture reveals of the brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 trailer. With the direct dropping, there were tons of new furniture sets that were revealed and we're going to go over all the new furniture that was in the trailer. Before we get started with each of the newly revealed furniture, get some context by watching the Animal Crossing New Horizons direct reactions and the detailed analysis that goes along with it so that you can understand this video a lot better. And also, while you're here, get your hands on some spooky Halloween merch that will definitely replace that Halloween costume that you've been putting off buying. Stick around to the end of the video for a coupon that you can use at checkout. Ceiling furniture has officially been announced in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Previously, we only had hanging furniture for the walls. With the Pro Decorating License, we can add a whole new atmosphere to our homes and rooms with this brand new feature. Some noticeable things to see are the lamps. There are all sorts of lamps that have been revealed, like the wood shade lamp. Plus, there are some hanging bulbs and a new spiral chandelier as well. They show off more of these incredible lighting fixtures in the Happy Home Paradise section, like this fancy crystal chandelier. There's this cool geometrical lamp in both white and a natural brown, so this means that we have the option to customize a lot of these too. Along with these light fixtures, they've also added some ceiling fans for those hot summer days. There are also some pretty whimsical hangers like this bird model and plastic groovy looking lights. Whatever style you choose, there's going to be plenty of options. With the announcement of cooking comes a whole bunch of food and a brand new kitchen set. A stonework kitchen has been added, which is like a brand new crafting table. It also looks really nice and will probably be customizable like our other crafting tables. With the addition of cooking, the food that you create is also placeable like furniture. Take a look at the huge variety of cooked items that you can make. Finally, our tables will be decked out with some tasty treats like pies, apple juice, sandwiches, and soups. If you look carefully, you can even see a basket of your gathered harvest in the background. Pretty cool, and it will definitely give our homes and restaurant builds a more homey feel. What will your restaurants be serving? New fences have been announced in addition to customizing them as well. White picket fences had been seen in trailers in the past, but they're actually available after this update. The current picket fences showed eight colors, all that match the customization colors of the wooden furniture. That means that the color options are most likely natural, white, dark wood, red, black, green, blue, and pink. As for new fencing, they've announced park fences. These look like they're made out of iron and are available to be customized. You can see both the yellow and blue custom options for them, which means that they'll add a vibrant pop to your island. Block fencing is next, and these are just giant stone walls. They go nicely with the stone pathing and a lot of the stone furniture, but since they're plain, they can match pretty well with most of the homes. The corrugated iron fence is an interesting one. If you're looking for an industrial or post-apocalyptic look for your island, this one stands out. Next, they've shown a large lattice fencing. We already have a lattice fence that's similar in brown, so it's safe to say that these will have the same color customizations as the picket fence. The log wall fencing is great for camp style or cottage core islands, perfect for those woody and forest areas on your island. There's no indication that it'll be customizable, but if it does, it'll probably be in line with the log furniture customizations that we already have. Next up, we have the green bamboo and bamboo stalls fencing. Again, no sign of customization, but these two really look great together. The log wall fencing, also known as the Harbs Island fence, is finally available for us on our own islands. There was a lot of desire for this fence when it was first spotted on Harbs Island back at launch, and it's nice to see that they brought it over for us to use as well. The last fencing they mentioned is the frozen fencing. 
This looks in line with the frozen furniture set that we already have, and it's perfect for the winter next season. Again, if we compare it to the furniture it matches with, it's safe to say that it'll be available in the colors of the frozen set when we customize it. There has been some new Nook Miles furniture spotted at the Nook ABD, and there is a lot of it. It's time to start saving up those Nook Miles for all these great new items. There are so many more listed here, but these were the items that you actually get a chance to see within the trailer. First one being the curved street light. This is basically the street lamp that we have, but it's really nice to have a variety of shapes for different avenues. The color matches up with the other street lamps as well, so I suspect that the colors will be customizable at Reese and Cyrus's. Next is this flower bed. It's not shown in the actual shopping menu yet, but there are a few clips later on in the direct that show the flower bed itself. There is a park fountain to complement the old fountains that we have. It has two sea lions and a nice new shape to enjoy. It'll be really exciting to have a new variety of fountains around town. There's also a ton of new Carnival Plaza furniture pieces to look forward to in the Nook Miles shop. The Plaza Balloon Wagon is the perfect match for your teacups. There are also some game stands and a Ferris wheel to make it look very lively. In the text, you can also see that there is a Plaza Train, Plaza Merry-Go-Round, Plaza Arch, Plaza Clock, and Inflatable Plaza Toy listed. But we haven't had a chance to check out what each of those look like. Some other items listed are the Triangular Topiary, Crosswalk Signal, Plastic Bench, Volleyball Net, Parabolic Antenna, Pergola, Azumaya Gazebo, and Gazebo. I can't wait to see what all these new items look like. The new gyroid pieces are an exciting new addition that we can add to our shelves and tables. These cute noisy clay figurines are a warm welcome to the new furniture sets that you can place in your home or around town. They come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and even customizable colors. We don't know yet how many there are to collect, but if it's anything like the old games, it will definitely be a lot. If we take a closer look at them, we can see that some of them are made out of wood and others are a bit shinier to look like they're possibly made out of glass. Even tons of classic painted clay options. Customizing them will give a ton of variety to these little guys. Nook's Cranny can be seen selling some new items as well. On top of the new items, they will also be selling the ceiling lamps. Check out this new gaming setup too. It honestly looks like the gaming setup that I have right now, but that's got four monitors on it. Later, you can see the chair to match, so it's perfect for us hardcore gamers. There is also some industrial looking furniture available to purchase. Take a look at the tropical fruit juice and some sushi seen on the table up front. So this confirms that there are food items going to be sold at Nook's Cranny as well. There have been some new furniture sets spotted in the trailer that are making a return from older games, and here's a few of the ones that we've seen so far. The Simple Set. This set is named in the Direct, and it has a very plain but nice look to it. It complements the wooden furniture and looks like you can customize the cushions. There's also a simple square bookshelf spotted that can match with the set perfectly. Next up is the Sleek Set from Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is definitely one of my personal favorites in the entire history of all furniture items. It has metal bars and solid colors, and if it's anything like the older games, you'll be able to customize the color of the cushions to solid colors like red and blue. And there is a couch, a TV stand, a bed, and an end table shown, but I bet there's a lot more than that coming with it. Another set returning is the Rococo set. It is super classy and expensive for those who want a little extra elegance in their home. It has extravagant wooden accents and some intricate patterns on them. The ranch set also makes a comeback. You can see the nearly full set in Maple's home from Happy Home Paradise. This includes counters, a kitchen sink, chairs, and a table. These will make a great kitchen set and you can deck it out with all the new food items. Spotted with the Nooklings is a bunch of construction focused furniture. Dig out your cliffs with these excavation tools like the crane and the plow. There are also some steel beams, jackhammers, and more.
Partitions and pillars have been announced for homes. Although this is technically not furniture, I felt that it's got to be mentioned due to how well it'll complement all the new furniture arrivals. These can be put up and make mini sections in your home that will definitely add some flair. Whether it's a kitchen or separate bedrooms, there's a lot to experiment with for this edition, and it's overall my favorite part of the brand new update. And there you have it, all of the newly revealed furniture sets from Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct version 2.0. Did one of these furniture items catch your eye? Which of these furniture updates are you most excited for? I'm personally excited to see that the gyroids are making a comeback and I can't wait to get my hands on every single one of them. Let's continue the discussion in the comments below. And hey, thanks so much for watching until the end of the video. Use code SPOOKY10 at checkout to save 10% on the new Halloween merch that'll be gone after October, so don't miss out on it. And as usual, keep it locked here for the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content. See you on the next one. Take care.